Hello and welcome to this like quick little video about Beeroid. So like I'm doing this quickly between classes, but basically I've seen a lot of people getting confused about how to import hair presets with the new update. So I'm just slapping together a quick little like I guess tutorial video uh, to explain everything. And yeah, my webcam's kind of fucked up right now. I gotta fix that. It, it shall be fixed soon, but for now we're just gonna deal with my uh, crappy laptop one. And alright, let's just get into the tutorial. But like, if you want like a quick 30 second rundown, basically, do what you would usually do with um, Beeroid Beta, like to import the hair preset. Then after that, just convert the model to Beeroid Stable, and then once you're in there, you can save the preset in the new version currently we have not been able to find like the new preset folder with the um with the stable update but it should be found eventually and make things a lot less convoluted but for now this is the common practice that the group i'm in has decided to go with like not it's not an official group but just like people that use vroid and uh, ask questions to each other basically. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm mumbling because like I got to get to class quickly quickly All right, so yeah, I'll just do like a display capture All right, I think this is the wrong display actually Ah, uh, that's huge okay, Yeah, let me just get this up real quick and Yeah, this is kind of like just really really jury rigged together Alright, so uh, yeah, I'm just, whatever, this um, right here, but yeah, basically just download whatever, um, whatever preset you want, I'm just gonna get this one, cause it looks nice, download it, bada bing bada boom, extract it from the RAR file, and that's just gonna take a second. Make sure you have like seven zip or something. So yeah, that got extracted to the little folder down here. And then what you want to do is you see the all the files, the preset and everything is down here. You want to open the hair preset folder that's in your C drive. And then you drag and drop this here, but then you gotta change it to follow the standard naming convention. Uh, it, your hair preset folder is always going to be in the C drive and it's kind of hard to find. So like what I always do to make things easy is like I just look up hair presets and then click on the first folder that pops up. But yeah, basically just like you got to rename this to follow the naming convention of preset and then whatever number. So I'll just name this preset 11. And then once that happens, just drag it in here and you're good. But because basically Vroid, uh, the code in it only reads the preset properly if the folder name is named with these conventions. So yeah, just do that and you're good. Then what you want to do is you want to open Vroid, uh, Vroid Beta. I'm using version 14 just because it has the most features since it's the latest update before Stable came out. And yeah, I'll just like make a new model. And then what you want to do is just uh, import the whatever preset you want on top of the head, on top of the model, the head of it. And then you want to save that model as a Vroid model. Do not export it as a VRM because the new version of Vroid also can't import VRMs. You just want to save it as a Vroid model. So yeah, go to hair editor, and then you want to import the preset that you just put in. Okay, I guess I kind of messed up those terms. I guess I messed up the formations a bit. But yeah, this is basically, uh, this is basically what uh, we want. So yeah, uh, I, I, I put it as preset 11, but it came out as preset 5. And yeah, so yeah, the preset came out. Like, just do whatever you want with it. Um, 
Like, do whatever colors you want and everything. You can color it however you want. Uh, whatever materials and all that. And then, once you're happy with it, uh, I guess I can do, like, just to demonstrate. It's like, drag that around, drag this around, whatever. I'm kind of too lazy to fix all the texture issues that came through. But, yeah, uh, fix whatever you want, then save as, uh... Air preset test. You probably can hear my keyboard. I'm still messing with my mic settings. Air preset test. But yeah, like I don't expect this to be a high quality tutorial. I'm just trying to get something out because, like, I've seen a bazillion people asking over and over again the same question. So I feel like somebody has to, like, make something to, like, to make something to explain it, you know? But yeah, so then basically, not create new, uh, basically convert the model, select save destination, convert. So yeah, like, uh, I have like a folder, but like you don't really need that. And you just save it, and we're almost done now. I probably made this longer than it had to be just because I've been mumbling over myself, but I don't care. And hopefully my mic has continued to pick up my mumble in. But yeah, so now we just gotta wait for, like, all this to work. And yeah. I feel like I probably accidentally recorded this at 480p, but who cares? It's good enough. The, the it's good enough. You don't need to see the font. You just you just gotta hear the explanation. It's good enough. Okay, so now it's imported. So what you want to do is you want to like click on the import and uh, you go to hairstyle. Oh, I just realized I forgot to close this view, right? Oops, maybe that's part of why I was lagging at both open. Yeah, you click on hairstyle. Then what you want to do is you want to go to overall hair uh, where you'll see that this is an unsaved item. And I already did this earlier to test, but basically just go to edit hairstyle, and then once you're in there, you just X back out, and then you click save, and then you're done! Whoa, bada bing bada boom. So yeah, save as new item, and then you're gonna be good, you're gonna have it as like this little preset icon down here, and everything will be hunky-dory. But yeah, like, there probably is a folder, it's just nobody's been able to find it yet. Because, like, they renamed everything, and they gave some stuff some really, like, dumb, convoluted, long names. So, like, sometimes it's kind of just hard to find the folder. But, yeah, now, whatever you want, like, you just click the body type, uh, now loading, and then you'll find that there's now the preset that you got from Booth and imported, and you can select it in Vroid Stable Edition, yay! Yeah, I saw like a lot of people wondering like, should I take down my booth uh, hair presets and stuff? Is anybody gonna buy my hair presets? Yes, they will. Like you can still import it and everything. You'll just need to like explain it more or like give them a PDF or like maybe like reference them to this here crappy video. But yeah, like now it is a preset and you can select it and woohoo, yay. 
You got your beautiful, beautiful anime hair. Hooray. And yeah, I think it also like carries over the physics and stuff, but I'm not sure. Because like my short hair right here, I didn't really add physics bones. Just because like they kept messing with uh, the neck and like causing clipping and stuff. Like let's let's try this one out. Go to camera mode. Yeah, we are done now. You have succeeded in importing your hair. Hurrah, hurrah. But yeah. Oh man, that do be laggy, that do be laggy. Yeah, we're done. Um just gonna pause this. Yeah, uh so yeah, basically that's it. That's that's all there is to it. I I hope the this here little old video helped you out with learning how to deal with some of the new hiccups that come with Vroid Stable. And yeah, like I guess check out my other stuff when I actually start making content. Gonna be the power lifter VTuber. And besides lifting, I guess I'll start making maybe more live 2D or more Vroid content. Like, besides lifting, I am a hobbyist Vroid modeler and 3D, I mean live 2D uh, rigger. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Bye.